Welcome to episode 24 of Let's Play Civilization 3 Play the World. Okay. What we are doing is waiting until our troops in Nagasaki are healed enough to go after Kagoshima. Because that is our next target. And we are fearing that they do have um, musketmen there. After all, it is connected by roads to what was formerly their source of saltpeter. Oh, when you see here, the Mongols are now fighting the Germans. Sometimes all it takes is to get the ball rolling, and then things will happen by themselves. You know, I got two nations to fight Germany, and now two more are fighting. In fact, the only people on the entire map who aren't fighting the Germans now are the Arabs and the Chinese. Everyone else is at war with the Germans. See the city that I captured at the beginning of the war is already starting to sort of assimilate into our culture a little bit. And I always love growing the palace. It's really starting to look nice now. I think I'll put a second floor on the um, wing over there. Cool. Alright. Now with our glorious war elephants, we shall... Now, in this city, this new city I founded, New Bangalore, is where I shall be garrisoning my troops for the upcoming invasion of Kyoto. That battle might turn out to be the longest one of all because they generally have more troops in their city, in their capital city, than they do anywhere else in their country. So I'm looking forward for towards a heck of a fight there. Upgrade as many as I can. I am running out of money, though. I have to do something about that for more banks. Now, we shall finally take down this little city out here, surrounded by Mongol territory. Well, that guy is successful. Take this guy. And there we have it. City is now ours. I seriously did debate giving this city to somebody else because there's not much I can do with it, but I don't really want to give the Mongols more territory for free. So I'll hang on to it as long as I can. Now I want to check with the Arabs how long until I can renegotiate our Iron Treaty. Because there's a lot of... Um, text I could get. I'm very close to entering the Middle Ages. I mean, the Industrial Ages. As you can tell, every other civilization except for the Japanese and myself, I believe, are now in the Industrial Ages. So not wanting to be left behind, we'll do what we can to get more tech. As much as I do love conquering, I am looking forward to this war being over. So we can consolidate our holdings, work on building our infrastructure again, and prepare for anything that might come up. That Chinese territory to our south looks pretty juicy. Someday there might come an invasion of that territory. And I don't think they stand much of a chance against us. And also, I really don't have any serious intentions of fighting the Germans. They, uh, they're all the way over there. Wouldn't really do us much good. And, um, I'm obligated to be at war with them for 20 turns after, uh, I signed the treaty with the Celts and the, um, Koreans. 
So, I have to definitely fight them for that length of time. But after that, I might just go and form a peace treaty with them. Although, I don't know. There might be a benefit to us nagging a couple cities on the coast if there are resources there I could use. I'll have to check over there later. But for now, all my efforts are towards the Japanese. Now, the only bad thing about the Mongols helping out against the Germans is that they have to cross my territory to get it, get there, so we're going to have to deal with a lot of annoying Mongol troops making their way westward across our map. And the Chinese establish an, an embassy. You don't always have to establish the embassy yourself. Sometimes your um, opponent will do it for you. The downside to that is you don't get the benefits of... Um, having that one-time look into their city. Now, we invade, we invade this city. And as we previously thought, they do have musket men. So this is promising to be a fight. We get rid of that guy. But then we have to fight again and again to wear down this last soldier here. See that it didn't have any effect on him. Let's set this guy after him. Well, not only does he not help, let's waste up another guy. Send him after him. Attack. Now this guy gets him promoted to four um, hit points, which really starts to irk me. But when we attack him here, this um, elephant soldier must have been uh, drinking some energy drink or something because he just slayed that guy. There's a spearman there. Attack him. And this really gets me. He doesn't kill him. And there is only that injured spearman between me and taking that city. And there's nothing I can do about it. Well, that's all for this episode. See you next time on episode 25.